Here's Silver Rock head coach George Mahalik, a 35-24 victory over Mercyhurst on the road in Erie. Uh, a little bit of everything weather-wise today, sun, wind, rain, snow, you saw a little bit of it all. Uh, ultimately, your team had to fight back in the second half to come away with the win. Uh, your overall thoughts on the game? Well, I thought we took control of the game early. We go up 14-0, uh, to zero, um, and we just relaxed. Uh, we were going in for a third score of the day, and we fumbled the ball. And, you know, we give credit to Mercyhurst. They're a, a solid football team, a great tradition, and they fought back and made it a full 60-minute game. And uh, really two different stories in the game today. It was your rushing offense and Mercier's passing offense. They finished with negative rushing yards in the game, but uh, threw for over 400 yards. Their quarterback broke a school record for completions in the game. A lot of those were those short dink and dunk passes. Talk about uh, their, their passing game and how you were able to at least keep them out of the end zone. Well, you know, when you, you definitely are controlling a team's running game and you, know, and you make them one-dimensional, they're going to get their yards. Uh, I give credit to our uh, defensive line. We had good pressure, got some good hits on their quarterback, and we created some turnovers. So you know, when they're going to throw that many times, the chance of turnovers increases, and, and as a result, we you know, played well enough to keep them out of the end zone. And the other side of that, your offensive line was outstanding today. You got a big rushing effort, 250-plus rushing yards. Shamar Green was phenomenal, 167 yards alone for him, uh, particularly 60 yards alone on that one drive that really uh, kind of put you back out front, changed the momentum of the game there in the second half. Talk about the, the, the ground game today. Well, you know, I'm very proud of our offensive line, and Shamar's our guy. He makes us go. And, uh, you know, up here in these kind of weather conditions, you better be able to run the football, and uh, you know once you do, um, you know you can eat up the clock a little bit as well. And I just didn't think our passing game was where it had been, and uh, we definitely needed our running game today. And funny you mentioned the passing game there, but maybe the biggest play of the game, the the game changer, if you will, was uh, a perfectly thrown 38-yard touchdown from Dante over the top, right when it started snowing, into about a one-inch window to Leroy in the back of the end zone. Talk about that play and what that did for the momentum of the game. Well, Leroy McLean made a fantastic catch uh, right at the, the edge of the end zone in the back. Dante put the money uh, right on the, on the mark there, or put the ball right on the mark there. And uh, that was momentum. That really changed. That gave us the lead. And, uh, you know, from that point on, uh, I, I thought that, uh, you know, with that momentum, we played pretty good football. Now, uh, we talked about this after the Gannon game a couple weeks ago, but uh, entering this season, had never won a game in Erie since, uh, since these two came into the league, the private schools up here, Gannon and Mercyhurst. You come on the road this year, go 2-0 and at Gannon and Mercyhurst. What's, uh, how does that feel to, to finally kind of get that monkey off the back? Well, hey, it feels real good, John. Uh, you know, and it, that's good media stuff. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, that's real. That's what our problem was. But give credit to our team. Uh, that we did come up here and the coaches did a great job and it just feels good that uh, you know whatever, whether you call it a jinx or whatever it, it, we broke it and uh, after that stumble at Seton Hill a few weeks ago there the team has really responded since then back in the national polls and now uh, control your own destiny in the PSAC West you win your next three games and you're the West champion again uh, where is the mentality of the team heading into a big one next week well you know it's uh, our backs are to the wall every week I mean, nothing changes. We have to win, and the, the team knows that, and it's all about preparation during the week. So uh, real proud of them. Uh, this was a tough place to come and play. Mercy Arts always plays us uh, very physical and full 60-minute football game, and just happy to come out here uh, with that victory. Well, congratulations, Coach. Thanks, John, and go Rock. <laughs>